One of the disciples of Yogananda's, Dr. Lewis, he shares a story. They were getting ready. They were leaving the ashram to go to an evening concert. And he and his wife and others were waiting there by the car for Yogananda to come down the stairs and, and drive with them. And Dr. Lewis had his hand kind of resting on the open door like this when it was inadvertently closed and his hand went right with it and was smashed in the door. And he describes it, he said it was up to the second joint on the fingers and you could see the impression of the car, excruciating. I mean, you can't you know, imagine, but he was in such pain. And his wife ran upstairs to tell Yogananda what had happened and Yogananda hurried down and he said, Dr. Lewis, put your hand in your coat and don't look at it and keep it there. And they went straight away, all of them, Dr. Lewis included, to the concert. And it didn't bother him at all. And for the next three days, they boarded a train the next morning, Dr. Lewis and his wife, Mildred, they boarded a train to go back, return back to Boston, the East Coast, where Dr. Lewis was a dentist, right-handed. He didn't take his hand out of the coat for three days. He didn't look at that hand. And his wife was very nervous about this. And there was some trepidation on his part. You know, this was their livelihood, his ability to do this kind of work. And he went into the office Monday morning, took out his hand, perfectly fine. No pain, no nothing. He was able to do everything. Such a magnificent story. And there are so many of them. If we can get into that consciousness, of we are children and of the light. Our reality is very different, very different. The view of the masters is very different. And that's why it's so important to spend time with them, in the body, out of the body. It doesn't matter. But to try to get into that consciousness, get into the world as they see it, as they experience it, as they know it because it's a completely different reality and it's our reality i mean that's the beauty of it as spiritual seekers as disciples it's our reality and the masters are welcoming us in to that reality